All right, so I just got home. I was getting a little nervous. I purposely ran my bike down to 0%. When it got to 0%, the range here showed a 3.7, 3.8 miles left. And you know, it was 0% and I was running, running. And as when that, you know, that 3.8 or so percent, it was going down pretty slow. Uh, or excuse me, not going down slow, it was going down fast. Uh, it wasn't, it was definitely not 3.8 left. It was, you know, it was dropping faster than that. Even at the, uh, 10 percent once it went down to 10 percent it was dropping really quickly um uh both both the percentage and the range was dropping you know once i got down to about 10 even down to 15 percent both range and percentage dropped down faster than than what, what it actually showed so so anyways i'm not sure how much actual reserve it has left you know once everything goes down to zero but i i, I was running it on zero for probably a good probably a good uh at least a good half mile if not a, a whole mile at zero and it was still running so uh yeah so there you go zero percent range and uh, battery and it still ran so just for the post the folks that are curious so now i'm gonna charge it and i'm actually gonna i'm gonna the reason why i ran it down so low uh, was that i want to do a a, a 24-hour charge to basically uh, balance the cells I don't think that's ever been done. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna plug it in and leave it for 24 hours. All right, thanks for watching. So I just plugged it in at 0%. Uh, right now it's giving me an estimate of seven, seven hours and 32 minutes. Uh, I, I literally just plugged it in. So we'll see how, how everything runs and see if that time changes. Uh, you know, I'll check back in, uh, in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna sync my, my watch to uh, seven hours and 32 minutes and see see how it runs or, or the clock i should say okay 7 32. okay it's been just past an hour since i uh plugged this in so remember it showed uh seven hours and 30 something minutes now it shows seven hours and 11 minutes so difference of uh what 20 minutes but it's already been an over an hour just over an hour and it's at nine percent so <clears throat> it's gonna take a while uh so yep i guess towards the bottom uh the reading is not that accurate you know when it goes up higher the readings you know what well, here is is more accurate so anyways i'll come back uh from time to time and, and check on it and s see what it says but anyway so this is the first hour all right it's been two hours and 10 minutes approximately passing by so the clock here still shows you know, just under six hours to a full charge and obviously 30 percent so that first 10 percent took you know took some uh some time you know the t first 10 percent from zero up took a, took you know an hour so this this next hour it charged 20 percent so so it ramped up actually uh or a little faster so that's good uh i might check back one more time and then i'm gonna go to bed it's already, you know, you see it's already 10 o'clock. So, uh, yeah, so I won't see this thing again until tomorrow morning and by then it'll be full charge, but I'm gonna leave it in for 24 hours. Uh, the reason I'm gonna do that is to, so that way it could do the whole cell balancing thing. Uh, you know, zero on the owner's manual says that, you know, every once in a while you should charge it to 100% and leave it there for 24 hours. So that way it, it is balanced the, the, the cells. So that's what I wanna do. I don't think it's, that's ever been done. I charged it up to 100%, you know, several times before, but I never left it, you know, never left it that long. I, you know, as soon as I got to 100%, I, I, I pretty much uh, 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 disconnected the power. So, so anyways, so yeah, so I'll probably do this one more time and uh, and call it call it good. Or I won't see it until, the, until tomorrow morning anyways. All right. All right, so it's been uh, about 13 and a half hours. So obviously it says fully charged right here, zero time. So I'm gonna leave it in here until later on tonight. Uh, that way, I'm I'm doing the 24 hour cell balancing thing. Uh, when I'm when I looked at the uh, the app, the zero app for the cell balance before, you know, back when it was at zero, uh, the numbers showed. I think it was nine or ten MV. I guess, I'm guessing MV is millivolt. Uh, while while I was charging, I. Sp you know the, the two times that i checked it it, it went up to as high as uh, 14 15 mvs uh and now i just checked it again and it's uh it's down at about three or four mvs 
Uh, so I guess millivolt, uh, three or four millivolt. So I, I have no idea what, you know, how much it needs to be to be more balanced. I'm, I'm guessing the lower that number is, the more balanced it is, is, is what is my assumption. Um, and you see here, shows the range as 80 miles or 82 miles. So, so the range is, is, is sort of calculated by how, how you ride. So, so for the most part, I ride this bike in the mountains. I don't, you know, I don't do any city riding or even much uh, highway riding. I'm pretty much basically in the mountains only. So when you ride in the mountains, uh, you know, it, it takes a lot of power. Uh, you know, that's where, when I ride in the mountains, that's where I get pretty much my worst gas mileage, right? Well, maybe except for the fuel way. If you are in the fuel way and you're just going like, you know, fast the whole time, then all that wind resistance will cause lower fuel mileage. But, uh, but uh, anyways, um, uh, I have it set to a trip two, so I can see, I compare my my range calculation to my uh, to the actual mileage. So I'm gonna bring this down to, I'm gonna, you know, next ride I'm I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this down to uh, single digits. Hopefully I can get it to single digits, or at least in the in the teens. Uh, and, I, uh, and I, that way I get compared to my range again. Uh, and as, and I you know I have it on custom. Uh, so what I'm gonna do for that is um, I set everything on maximum except for the top speed. The top speed I have it on 90 miles per hour top speed, but everything else is on maximum. So torque is on maximum, uh, regen is on maximum, braking is on maximum, everything's on maximum. Uh, and we'll see. And, and, I, and I actually want to uh, play around with the custom and. Uh, I might later on. I might uh, bring it down to sixty miles an hour maximum, but everything. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, sixty miles per hour max speed, and everything else. I keep it at maximum, and I want to see you know see how that goes because you know realistically, when I ride in the mountains, uh, my ideal speed is sixty miles an hour. And I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily need to do more than sixty miles an hour. So, so, so I'm gonna do two. You know, two test runs. One, one at max speed of ninety, and one at sixty. So that way. Uh, the 60 one prevents me from you know basically going over 60 miles an hour in the mountains because sometimes you know when you hit this straight away you, you might go faster so um, well, I might I probably do go faster but, but hopefully that 60 will do it and also why I picked 60 two reasons one one is that you know my that's my favorite pretty much my favorite speed to be in at in the mountains but the other reason is uh, uh, if you keep it below 60 you know 55 60 that's kind of like the, the sweet spot as far as uh air, aerodynamics goes once you pass 60 the the energy needed to overcome the wind resistance it's it's you know it's, it's you know it's exponential the wind is exponential that's sort of so when you pass 60 that's when you use a lot of energy but you keep it below 60 you don't use that much um so anyways um yeah so next time i come back it will be you know it'll probably be dark uh, you know, in another, uh, since I see it's already been 13 and a half hours, so next time I come back, it'll be 11 and a half hours later. So they will probably be, you know, past sunset, so it's, it's gonna get dark, uh, so you'll see, you know, it'll be dark again. And I wanna check the, uh, the millivolts, uh, and hopefully everything is balanced and such. All right, thanks for watching. All right, so it's been 24 hours. Everything's charged, everything looks the same like last time. The only difference is that uh, I was looking at the um, cell balance and it, it showed uh, it was skipping between 1 and 2 MV. I guess, again, I don't know what the MV means. I'm guessing it's millivolt. But uh, 1 and 2, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, uh, so, yeah, so that's the 24 uh, hour charge with cell balancing. Uh, so now I'm gonna just gonna take it. I have it set at custom. Everything is, is maximum except for my top speed. Top speed is set at 90. I'm gonna run it, you know, so I have it at, at my range. I can see 82 and then trip, whatever it is gonna be. I'm gonna run it until I get down to single digits, hopefully. And I wanna see what the uh, what my range is uh, once the cell is balanced and everything's fully charged. So I'll do that tomorrow, um, tomorrow basically. Um, yeah, all right, that's it.